Hello everyone, I am Priyanka Shah and welcome to my YouTube channel Mathelite. In this video, we are going to continue with the second exercise of rational and irrational numbers. Let us start with question number 6. Prove that each of the following numbers is irrational. Over here also we will use the method of contradiction that is we will assume that these numbers are rational and then we will prove it to be wrong. So let's start with first number that is root 3 plus root 2. We will assume that it is a rational number. So let us assume that root 3 plus root 2 is a rational number. Now let it be equal to some value x. Okay, root 3 plus root 2 let it be equal to x. Now squaring on both the sides I will get root 3 plus root 2 the whole square is equal to x square. This is of the form a plus b the whole square. We will expand it. So we will get root 3 square plus 2 into root 3 into root 2 plus root 2 square is equal to x square. Now root 3 square is going to give you 3. 2 root common le lenge square root common lenge and 3 into 2 gives you 6. Over here I will get 2. This is equal to x square. 3 plus 2 gives 5. 5 plus 2 root 6 is equal to x square. Now what we will do is we will shift all the numbers to the right except the root. Let the root remain on one side and then we will and we'll be shifting all the others, other numbers to the other side that is with the x square. So let us shift 5 first. So 2 root 6 is equal to x square minus 5. Now I will shift 2 to the other side. So root 6 is equal to x square minus 5 by 2. Now x is a rational number because here it is equal to root 3 plus root 2 which we have assumed it to be rational. 5 is a rational number, 2 is a rational number. So x square minus 5 by 2 is basically rational but root 6 is irrational. Now how can an irrational number be equal to rational number? So this means that our assumption that x is a rational number is wrong. So let us proceed with the proof. So over here root 6 is an irrational number which is equal to this number but this number is a rational number now this is not possible how can an irrational number be equal to a rational number so this is not possible therefore our assumption was wrong therefore x square is an irrational number therefore x is an irrational number now x is equal to root 3 plus root 2 so root 3 plus root 2 is an irrational number. Let us start with the second number. Let us assume that 3 minus root 2 is a rational number. Now let 3 minus root 2 be equal to x. Next step will be to square both the sides. So squaring 
on both the sides we'll get 3 minus root 2 the whole square is equal to x square this is of the form a minus b the whole square we'll expand it so 3 square minus 2 into 3 into root 2 plus root 2 square is equal to x square so this gives 9 minus 6 root 2 plus 2 equals to x square 9 plus 2 gives 11 minus 6 root 2 equals to x square i'll shift all the numbers on the right hand side that is with the x except for the root value so shifting 11 then we'll shift minus 6 so we'll get root 2 is equal to x square minus 11 by minus 6 now this is a rational number this is a rational number x square is a rational number because x is a rational number but root 2 over here is an irrational number now irrational number cannot be equal to a rational number so we'll write down root 2 is an irrational number but x square minus 11 by minus 6 is a rational number now this is not possible therefore our assumption was wrong therefore x is an irrational number x is equal to what 3 minus root 2 so 3 minus root 2 is an irrational number moving on to the third number moving on to the third number it is root 5 minus 2 so let us assume moving on to the third number which is root 5 minus 2 so let us assume that root 5 minus 2 is a rational number now let root 5 minus 2 be equal to x now the next step is to square on both the sides so squaring on both the sides on squaring i'll get root 5 minus 2 the whole square is equal to x square this is of the form a minus b the whole square so root 5 square minus 2 into root 5 into 2 plus 2 square which is equal to x square root 5 square gives 5 minus 2 twos are 4 into root 5 plus 4 is equal to x square so over here i get 9 minus 4 root 5 is equal to x square i'll shift all the numbers except the root over here so starting with 9 first now i'll shift 4 so minus sorry root 5 will be equal to x square minus 9 by minus 4 all of these are rational numbers but this is an irrational number so an irrational number cannot be equal to a rational number so let us write down root 5 is an irrational number 
बट एक्स स्क्वे माइनस नाइन बाय माइनस फोर इज अ रैशनल नंबर दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल दे फोर आर अजम्पन वॉज रॉन्ग दे फोर एक्स इज एन इैशनल नंबर एक्स इज इक्वल टू रूट फाइव माइनस टू दे फोर रूट फाइव माइनस टू इज एन इैशनल नंबर मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन राइट अ पेयर ऑफ इर रैशनल नंबर सम इज इर रैशनल सो वे योर यू हैव टू कंसिडर टू इर रैशनल नंबर एंड ऑन एडिंग देम द आंसर शुड बी इर रैशनल सो इन सच केसेज जहाँ पे तुमको आंसर इर रैशनल ही चाहिए टेक टू डिफरेंट रूट्स से रूट फाइव ले लिया एंड रूट सेवन ले लिया ओके सो रूट फाइव प्लस से वन एंड रूट सेवन प्लस वन now let us add them so adding the two numbers root 5 plus 1 and root 7 plus 1 i get root 5 plus root 7 plus 2 the answer over here is an irrational number so my criteria is satisfied that is on adding the two numbers i am getting an irrational number so therefore the sum of the two numbers is an irrational number now the next question is write a pair of irrational numbers whose sum is rational tumko rational chahiye that is root of some number jiska exact value nahi aa raha hai wo number nahi chahiye so over here like <clears throat> you have root 5 and root 7 over here you don't want that in this case so let us consider one number say root 2 plus 2 okay रूट टू प्लस टू है सो नेक्स्ट नंबर यू हैव टू चूज इन सच अ वे दैट रूट निकल जाना चाहिए तो रूट टू ही लो बट पुट अ माइनस साइन हो गई ओके सो दे कैंसल आउट ईच अदर वेन यू एड देम सो रूट टू प्लस टू एंड ओवर योर से अगेन आई टेक रूट टू माइनस रूट टू प्लस टू नाउ वील एड द टू नंबर सो एडिंग the two numbers you get root 2 plus 2 minus root 2 plus 2 root 2 and root 2 get cancelled so i'll get 0 over here and 2 plus 2 gives 4 so the answer is 4 which is a rational number so therefore the sum of the two irrational numbers is a rational number over here also you write irrational numbers